First, the Afghan Taliban tightened their territorial stranglehold around Kabul today as refugees from the insurgents' relentless offensive flooded the capital and U.S. Marines returned to oversee emergency evacuations from Afghanistan. Despite the frantic evacuation efforts, the Biden administration continues to insist that a complete Taliban takeover is not inevitable. Take a look. And, uh, we will be able to move thousands per day, but that's just the airlift capacity. That doesn't uh, necessarily mean that you're going to end up with that every day. Uh, it's going to depend on the, the processing and, the, and, how that, and how that goes. There, uh, Kabul is not uh, right now um, uh, in an um, imminent threat environment. But clearly, David, uh, if you just look at what the Taliban's been doing, uh, you can see that they are trying to isolate Kabul. Now, what they want to do if they achieve that isolation, I think only they can speak to. I think they're beginning to realize they've got to come together politically at the top. And, uh, but we're going to continue to keep our commitment. But I do not regret my decision. Uh, this is not abandonment. This is not an evacuation. Uh, this is not the wholesale withdrawal. What this is, uh, is a reduction in the size of our civilian footprint. In Kabul, U.S. Embassy staff were ordered to begin shredding and burning sensitive material as the first American troops from a planned 3,000 strong redeployment started arriving to secure the airport and oversee evacuations. The scale and speed of the Taliban advance have shocked Afghans and the U.S.-led alliance. A host of European countries, including Britain, Germany, Denmark, and Spain, all announced the withdrawal of personnel from their respective embassies on Friday. Und wir haben im Krisenstab ebenfalls beschlossen, dass die ohnehin für diesen Monat vorgesehenen Charterflüge vorgezogen werden. Wir werden mit diesen Charterflügen die Mitarbeiterinnen und Mitarbeiter der deutschen Botschaft ausfliegen, aber auch der noch in Afghanistan befindlichen Ortskräfte. Die Botschaft wird arbeitsfähig bleiben in Afghanistan, in Kabul. Und deshalb haben Helicopters flitted back and forth between Kabul's airport and the sprawling U.S. diplomatic compound in the heavily fortified green zone 46 years after choppers evacuated Americans from Saigon, signaling the end of Vietnam War. The U.S.-led evacuation is focused on thousands of people, including embassy employees and Afghans and their families who fear retribution for working as interpreters or in other support roles for the United States.